Now, in this in this question, we're asked which set of fractions is in the correct order, starting from the least to the largest. Now, another word for least, we could have said smallest. Okay, so basically, they're asking us um, we should choose a set of fractions um, that that's arranged in the sm small from the smallest to the largest. Okay, now quickly. Let's do some workings on this side. All right. Um, if you a, a quick way, a quick method of checking. All right. If fractions, which fractions is the smallest or which fraction is the largest? You could convert the fractions to decimals. All right. Um, now converting a fraction to a decimal first. Let's check a. I'm going to use two fifths. All right. And then I'm going to just divide through. All right. So I'm going to say five divided by 2. This is how you convert a fraction to a decimal. So I'm saying 5 into 2. How many sets of 5 can I get out of 2? That's what I'm trying to say here. Now 5 into 2 I can't. So it simply means that I'm going to have to place a decimal point exactly above the 2. When I place my decimal point I can add a 0 to the 2. So it's 20. 5 into 20 goes 4 times. Okay. Now I'm saying 4 fives will give me 20. So I'm going to put my 20 there and then I'm going to subtract. Alright. Now when I subtract 20 from 20 I'm left with 0. So 2 fifths okay, is the same as 0.4. Now let's check the next fraction. Um, 5 4 over 5 rather okay so here again I'm going to put the denominator must go outside so I have a 4 fifth rather 5 rather my bad so I'm gonna put the 5 outside and the 4 must go on the inside so I'm going to say 5 into 4 I can't so again since I can't I'm going to put a dot above the 4 and because I put my point above the 4 I'm going to add a 0 5 into 40 goes 8 times so I'm going to place my 8 there and I'm going to now say 8 fives will give me 40 40 so now 40 minus 40 will leave us with a 0 so 4 fifths is the same as 0.8. All right. Now let's check another one. All right. Let's check uh, 6 over 10. So again, I'm going to say 10 on the outside. My denominator goes on the outside and my numerator goes on the inside. So I'm going to say how many sets of 10 can I get out of 6? I can't. So I'm, I must place a point above the 6 and then I can add a 0. So I'm going to say 10 into 60 goes 6 times, all right? And 6 tens will give me 60. Now, let's check this. Now, 60 from 60, we know that will leave us with a 0. So 6 over 10 is the same as 0.6. Now, if you notice what is happening, the first one we got 0.4. The second one we got 0.8. So 2 fifths, if you notice what, what happened a while ago, 2 fifths is is the same as 0 0.4 which we had calculated there okay and then and then 4 fifths 4 fifths is the same as 0 0.8 which we had calculated and 6 sorry yes yeah, 6 over 10 6 tenths is the same as 0 0.6. Now if you notice um, these aren't in the order from smallest to largest because you would have a 0.4 and then we jump to 0.8 and then we would come back down to 0.6. So obviously A would be out of it. Okay so let's take it let's take A out of it and we're going to try again all right to see to see which one is in the order from smallest to to largest so let's just get rid of this work in here because a would be out of it all right let's just clear that quickly now let's check let's check for um, B let's check B to see if if, if we're good with B now when we look at B B also would be out of it by process of elimination why um, just looking at it I can tell you that now why um, 6 over 10 6 over 10 we have calculated 6 over 10 up there 
just now and we got 0 0.6 for that okay and then we had calculated four fifths and we had got for four fifths uh, that that would be a 0 0.8 so four fifths four fifths is equal to 0 0.8 and we had gotten for uh, 9 over 10 we had gotten 9 over 10 is the same as 0 0.9 and then 2 fifths we got for 2 fifths 2 fifths is the same as um, let me just write it here 2 fifths is the same as 0 0.4 these are the numbers that we got now if you look we aren't we aren't in that order also because this is 0.6 then we jump to 0.8 then we jump to 0.9 then we jump to 0.4 all right so number two obviously would be out because we're not moving from the smallest to the largest okay now let's check part c two fifths is the same as 0 0.4 which we have here so 2 fifths is 0.4 then 6 over 10 is the same as 0.6 then 4 over 8 is the same as 0.8 and 9 over 10 is the same as 0.9 so here let me just circle this this would be our answer because this would be in the form from small, smallest to largest uh, and quickly we can represent this on a number line and I'm going to show you quickly so that you get a better appreciation for what's happening. Let's say here I would have my zero, then here I would have 0 0.1, then here I would have a 0 0.2, then here I would have a 0 0.3, then here I would have a 0 0.4, then here I would have a 0 0.5, then here I would have a 0 0.6, here I would have a 0 0.7, here I would have a 0 0.8, and here I would have a 0 0.9. Now if you look carefully at this, 2 fifths is the same as, 2 fifths is the same as 0 0.4, so here I would have my 2 fifths right there, and then I'm moving up to 0 0.6 which is 6 over 10 is the same 6 over 10 is the same as 0 0.6 so I would have my 0 0.6 there and then I would move up again to 4 fifths and 4 fifths is the same as 0 0.8 so I'm moving up to 0 0.8 and then 0 0.9 is the same as 9 over 10 so if you notice I am moving from the small smallest value to the largest value okay that's it. Feel free to uh, post your comments or ask your question if you're still not sure about a particular issue. Okay, bye-bye.